an outdated launch tower on America's space coast must be demolished. The U.S. Air Force brings in a demolition team at the top of its game. It's all eyes on us. This 5.9 million kilogram steel fortress won't go down without a fight. It's hurricane reinforced and fireproof to withstand the inferno of a rocket launch. Set on wheels, the tower is a moving target. It's the science of rocketry versus the art of demolition. About ready to try. Mark. Florida, Cape Canaveral. Patrick Air Force Base sits just a few kilometers to the south of NASA's Kennedy Space Center, the heart of America's manned space program. Specialized launch towers send top secret satellites into space. Mobile Service Tower 40 is among them. After 55 missions, top brass marked the obsolete tower for destruction. To get the job done, they call in CDI, Controlled Demolition Incorporated, a family demolition team from Phoenix, Maryland. Everybody's getting a little bit uptight. The clock is ticking. It is the most difficult job they have ever been asked to do by the Air Force. Because it's a rocket launch tower, it's built super strong and its entirely metal frame is immune to dynamite. So the team has loaded it with 700 powerful steel cutting explosives. Nearly one mile of detonating cord connects the explosive charges to each other. But that's no guarantee this behemoth will fall. Okay, here we go, Stacy. 30 seconds to implosion. The Air Force locks the site down. 